Stop using container image tags. Software supply chain attacks are on the rise and have devastating effects. In this video, I will give you two alternatives to Docker image tags, digests and digital signatures. Let's start by answering the question, why are Docker image tags bad? I'm pretty sure that you already know that it's bad practice to deploy a container without specifying an image tag. When you declare an image only by name, for instance, nginx, Docker will imply the latest tag. And there are two issues with this. First, you have no idea what's the actual version of the image you are pulling. It could be version 1, 2, 3, whatever. And the other interesting bit is that latest does not mean that you're actually pulling the most recent version of an image. Latest is a tag like any other, and it could be pointing to an old version of an image. To solve this issue, you have been told that it's good practice to always define a tag. For instance, when I pull the Nginx image, I can specify a version like 1.25.1. Problem solved, you might think, but the issue lies there. Despite you defining an image tag that points to a version, the truth is that under the hood, you get no guarantee that you're always pointing to the same version of the image. And the reason is that an image tag can be updated. I can build an image and tag it with version 1.0.0. I can change the content of this image and still give it the same name and tag. I can repeat this process as much as I wish. And this means that if you deploy this application to different environments at different points in time, there is chance that you are running different instances of that image. As you can imagine, this is a perfect vector for a sneaky software supply chain attack. For instance, a malicious actor with access to our image registry can update an image tag to point to a corrupted version of our application. Once deployed in an environment, the malicious image could be used to extrapolate sensitive data. So, how do we solve the issue? And the answer is Image Digest. A container image digest is an immutable identifier that points to a specific version of an image. While tags are defined by users and can be updated, the digest is computed by the container engine by hashing the image index or the image manifest document and they cannot be updated. The digest can be used to retrieve images instead of a tag. This process is known as content addressable storage, and it is a process that allows you to store data in a way that it can be retrieved by its content rather than a name or location. This is obviously possible also when we define a Docker Compose manifest or a Kubernetes deployment manifest. In this scenario, the malicious user is not able to trick our deployment engine because the corrupted image has its own unique digest and cannot be silently swapped with the genuine one. As you can see, this is a very simple change, but it improves drastically the security posture of your software supply chain. The question is, is this enough? Or can we secure it further? If you think about it, using Image Digest, all we're doing is pointing to a specific version of an image so that it cannot be swapped by a malicious actor. But the problem is, we have no guarantees on the provenance of that image. In other words, who did create that image? Was it a genuine user or workload or an attacker. If we want extra guarantees, we need to look into digital signatures. A digital signature is a concept very similar to a physical signature on a contract. One of its goals is obviously authenticity, which means that 
we can have guarantees that the data has been created by the user of workload that signed it. Another goal is non-reputation, which means that the signer cannot deny that they created and signed the data. And last but not least, a digital signature, it ensures the integrity of the data. This is possible because the signature is derived from the data itself, and even changing one byte would change the final signature. So the verification process would fail if the data is corrupted. I'm sure you're wondering, but if digital signatures are so powerful, why don't you use them already to secure our software supply chain? And the answer is that a digital signature scheme is very difficult to implement. You need to set up an infrastructure that takes care of key management, signing and verification. And that's extremely complex. However, there is finally some hope thanks to Sigstore. Sigstore is a combination of technologies to handle key management, signing and verification checks. It's an open source project supported by the Open Source Security Foundation and backed by companies like Reddit and Google. Sigstore mission is to be what Let's Encrypt has been for TLS and democratize digital signatures in the software supply chain. In other words, Sigstore wants to make it very easy to sign and verify artifacts. In fact, we can use the Sigstore cosign tool and with just one simple command line, we can sign our container image. No need to create or manage key pairs. This is all done under the hood for us. With another simple command line, we can easily verify the provenance of a container image. For instance, I might want to be sure that I use all the images that I personally signed while authenticated to a particular OpenID Connect provider, such as Google, GitHub or GitLab. I can do the same on a Kubernetes cluster by using the Sigstore policy controller. This way I can define cluster image policies that restrict what kind of images can be executed in my namespaces. As you can see, an Nginx unsigned image that does not carry my identity will not be accepted on this particular cluster. Finally, I can integrate Cosign very easily in any existing CI-CD tool, such as GitHub Actions and GitLab CI. What do you think? Is it enough? I five. The underlying architecture of Sigstore is a bit complex. In any case, all this complexity is abstracted by the Cosign tool. And that's the mission of the Sigstore project. If you want to know more about Sigstore, let me know in the comment section below. I don't want to overload you for this video, but I hope the concept is clear. We need to secure our pipelines. We need to secure our software supply chain. I gave you two tools. You can use the image digest, and this is a very easy change. And you can also go a step further and start using digital signature. It is easy as well. And I can assure you, digital signature will be a de facto standard in the coming years. So why don't you get started now? As usual, thank you for your time. And if you want to learn more, you can watch one of these videos.